Super Mario 64, one of my favourite childhood games. Over the past 25 years, players have been delving deeper and deeper into its many mysteries. But of course, I'm not talking about the secrets that were placed inside Princess Peach's castle on purpose that the players were meant to find. I'm talking about those that are not always so obvious to see. The ones that players have speculated talked about and theorised over and ultimately tried to find some sort of answer to for the last two decades. Probably the most popular being the very blurred L is Real statue situated in the rear garden. But today we're going to be taking a look at one of the mysteries found by Panenkuk2012, the legendary SM64 player who managed to collect the impossible coin on Tiny Huge Island. Apologies if I didn't pronounce the name correctly. For this mystery, we're heading right up to the very top of the castle and dropping into Bowser in the sky. If you still haven't already guessed, then this is the mystery of the missing Goomba, which so far has been impossible to kill. So what exactly is it? Let's do a recap. A lot of time Goombas spawn in threes, more specifically in a triangle, which can be seen fairly easily on bob -Omb's battlefield. Except if we go back seven years ago, on this particular platform, Panikook noticed there only seems to be two, and I'll just quickly recap over what he had found. Of course, to get Goombas to spawn, Mario needs to move towards them. We'll go into that in more detail in just a moment, but when Mario gets closer to this particular platform, as we know, only two appear. But why is this? Well, the problem is with this platform is, it's too small for the triangular formation. It's that simple. So where is the missing Goomba? Blink, and you'll miss it. Just in case you did, I'll rewind that and play it in super slow mo. As you can just about see, because it misses the platform, it spawns on the death barrier way below the map for only a split second. In fact, it's 0.02 of a second. So, because the game was running at roughly 50 FPS, that means this Goomba appears for one frame only. In his original video, we couldn't really get a good look at the Goomba below, except for a fairly blurry picture, which is what got me interested in the mystery in the first place. Being my channel is mainly to do with taking a look at things that players can't normally see, let's take a closer look. And here it is, hiding just under the starting point. It is definitely the missing Goomba we've been wanting to see clearly for all these years. Except being able to see it is just one part of the mystery solved. A bigger part that as far as I'm aware has not been solved to this day is being able to kill this thing. Let me quickly explain why, but also I definitely recommend checking out Panankook's video too as he explains it much better than I can. Basically, if you imagine enemies on Mario 64 having a sphere around them, when Mario enters the sphere, the enemies spawn. Once this happens, each individual enemy then has its own sphere, and the enemies can automatically be seen for at least one frame, that is. Hence why we see the mystery Goomba flash. However, if Mario then goes outside the individual sphere, the enemies become invisible and are frozen which is exactly what happens to the Goomba way down below, because Mario can't be in the spawn sphere and the individual sphere at the same time, it's just too far away. To get around this problem, we need the aid of a trusty friend. Now with Luigi being in the level 2, we can get Mario to enter the radius of the spawn point and then leave him up there. Now all we need to do is get Luigi to do the hard work when he wakes up. If we just have a snoop around here, we can see the Goomba in question. And what could be for the first time ever... We've killed it. Though you may have noticed, Luigi didn't die when hitting the death barrier. Okay, admittedly I did mess around with the game's code to disable that just for the purpose of the video and to finally kill this thing, which I know some viewers have been waiting for. Then again, we are just talking theoretically here. 
using a multiplayer edition were not exactly sticking to the original N64 version anyway. So I guess technically, whilst we have managed to kill the mystery Goomba and also collect its illustrious impossible coin, perhaps for the first time, it's not exactly a legit technique. But what it does show is if anyone ever did find a glitch to get down here, and let's face it, new glitches are being discovered all the time, maybe one day this coin could be collected again. For now, I'd like to give a big thank you to Skellux for the multiplayer edition, also KZ Manua for the camera mod used in parts of the video, and of course Panenkook2012 for his amazing Super Mario 64 content and discoveries. All the links to those channels can be found in the description. That's it for this one, thank you so much for watching, I'll catch you soon, but until the next time, as always, take care everyone.